Um, let's kind of do another quick tutorial. We're back in lockdown. It's January in the UK. I'm not supposed to leave the house. I've got a little bit of time on my hands. Um, I'm currently updating um, some of the models and putting uh, a couple of new ones out. And one of the ones that uh, has been a long work in progress with lots of help from uh, people in the community has been the Piaggio Avanti. Trickier than uh, I was expecting actually with the three surfaces, although I think we're at the bottom of it now. Um, but one of the things that you need to do with any airplane is calculate the CFG. Um, you can do it longhand with the maths and uh, you can make models. And I was just going to show you a couple of ways uh, that you could do it um, with your models, uh, your personal use models, that is. Uh, so, first thing is how to make a drawing infusion. So you obviously have to load up your model that you're working on and go to drawing mode. Click uh, from design, uh, visible only, make it an A1 page, especially if you're going to build a, a chuck glider, it's quite a good idea. Click OK, and then uh, wait a minute. It's going to load up the drawing workspace, and uh, we can then make some views that we can print off. So this would be quite good as well if you just want to design uh, aircraft uh, that could then be... Um, made into really simple chuck gliders. Uh, so the first, it comes up immediately with a drawing view. This is going to be a base view. And I want a top and I'm going to go to uh, 1 to 3 and then you select your location for that first base view and click OK and then let the computer think again. Now initially what it'll do, it'll take all the bodies uh, in your um, design and it'll probably make a drawing with all of them so you might find that to begin with you're not seeing exactly what you want I'll just wait for it to there you go so you can see it's got a few extra it's got some of the old Avanti in there I don't really want that so you just go through and uh, deselect the ones you don't want I also don't want the engine cells in because it's not necessary and there we go looks pretty good now I also want a side view because I'm going to turn it into a chuck glider so I can help assess the CFG. So you could have also um, pulled down, I should have shown you that. You could click on it, if I show you again, do another view. Click on the base view, we can have that one, that one. And if I go up here, it'll give me a 3D view. But there's not enough room on our paper for that. I only need the two views for what I'm doing there. Uh, cool. Um, now, I'll show you how to build the chuck glider in a minute. You'd output this to... Uh, a PDF. But if you did want to try and do it, there's a couple of uh, CFG calculators out there on the internet which are quite helpful. I'm just going to show you how to use one. Um, I've not used it, it's no good for this model. This model's got uh, three surfaces, but for your two surface models, it's pretty good and it gives me uh, a way of showing you how to make uh, or how to take dimensions from here. So uh, the one that is good would be eCalc here, and uh, they have got a few designs. To show you how to use it but essentially you build your wing out of trapezoids so this wing here is made out of two tailplane here made out of three uh, so if we click on that one oh, it's not loaded refresh that page calculate no it's drawn it as a canard um, that's one thing i have found with this website um, just playing with it that often the minus doesn't go but anyway it asks you to get you these distances which are sweep angle uh, and uh, chords at various stages along with span um, so I was just going to show you if you were going to use this how you would calculate that so in fusion you're going to use dimensions and you want linear dimensions um, so starting with the wing you're going to assume this middle bit here is a square but we need to know the wing root chord uh, so we go dimensions, you've got to wait till you get a little green box and then, so we've done a tip chord there, right, I'll do the wing root chord, for some reason it's not catching, and that'll do, so there's the root chord and you would need to know the span. My computer's just running a bit slow and I'm moving my mouse out of the way. Oh dear God, come on. <laughs> I 
It's the second time I've done this, and the first time it worked absolutely fine. And if anything, I was going too quick. Right, dimensions, linear. There you go. So depending on which way you pull, depends on which angle you get. So that's the sweep angle there, and that's the span. And then click to hold it. So uh, if we were doing it with the calc, you'd need to know that. Oh, come on. There we go. And uh, there, two, there. If I were representing this, I would just represent it as a triangle. So I'd have zero tip and straight line there. And you do the same with your other wings. Uh, one of the other things I think it would ask you is the distance between the wing leading edge and... Oh, it's driving me nuts. There we go. And the leading edge of the canard. There's that distance. And you can just do that. That's how you can get dimensions anyway. Uh, wing spans, stuff like that. Hope that's been helpful. You'd plunge all that into your chosen uh, CFG calculator and it will calculate uh, roughly where the CFG should go for your aeroplane. So it's quite a handy starting point. As I say, it doesn't work for this model. Uh, this is a three surface design, um, but it is a helpful starting point. So uh, anyway, let's move on to the chuck glide a bit. So click in PDF, we'll export this to a PDF. Here's one I did earlier, opened it in. Well, I said here's one I did earlier. There we go. And uh, I just simply print this on uh, poster mode. So click file and print, and poster, and it panels it out like this. I actually think I made it a bit bigger, which is why I got a scale of 1 to 2.8. There we go. Oh, I've just clicked print. I don't want to print that. I've already printed that. Oh, starting. I think I might have made it. You then uh, put the pieces together, so you might have to trim the edges, put the pieces together and I then take this down onto a piece of foam board and I cut it out. And I cut out the side profile all the way around including the tail and then I cut out the top profile which was uh, the wings in the wholeness, cut a piece out like that, this wing cut a piece out like that, this wing cut a piece out like that and then uh, I cut out a body shape piece and cut it down the middle and then put it together. I'll show you what that looked like. Um, so here's the Avanti chuck glider as, it, as I built it. Um, <clears throat> I basically cut out the side profile view uh, in its entirety and then with the top down views I cut out the fuselage, split that down the middle and I cut out the various wings. I then uh, cut slots into the fuselage and I tried to pay attention to the uh, angles of incidence that I was cutting um, to make sure that they were representative. Obviously they're not going to be um, super accurate but I really just wanted to make sure that this one had more than this one which had more than this one. And then to go out and do your test flying just use a coin to work out the centre of gravity. And I made some little notes on the side as I went uh, so that I could uh, keep track of what I was doing. I think we ended up with the centre of gravity uh, just a little bit further forward than that. Uh, obviously that figure then needs to be recalculated for your scale model, so you have to work out whatever your scale factor is. Uh, in my case I measured the wing root, this is 78 millimetres, the real one is 208. 208 divided by 78 gave me about 2.8, and so then multiply these distances to get the uh, distances on the full scale model. Stop. This is another 